Big three. We said we was changing the game, and we did. Trilogy runs the table for the chip and the win. Yes, the cat has done it. Joe for the win. Got it. No game clock. Always a winning shot. One shot free throws. No tech for trash talk. And the four point circle. The big three is not your grandfather's three on three. It's its own sport. More exciting than anything that's come before. Fast, physical, professional. As a matter of fact, it's more advanced than anything you ever seen. The youngsters call it Fireball 3. And Fireball 3 is not for an invitation to the Big 3 Combine. And changing the game once again with the Bring the Fire Rule. A rule that allows players to challenge a foul by going one-on-one. -on -one. Here's a matchup. Go big or go home. We don't even play with a basketball no more. We play with a fireball. It's the big three, 2020, once again, changing the game. A bivouac. A bivouac is an army. Traveling from land to land, making a home wherever they roam. North side of Chicago Land All State Arena, our third matchup Big Three, Killer Threes versus Bivouac. Chicago's own Will Bynum gets it started for Bivouac, an army without a home, Bivouac. Bynum whips it to the corner. Anthony Morrow, can't what leave, start. Can't leave Morrow right there. That's, that's my guy. You know where he's from, from Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh, one of the best shooters to come out of Charlotte. And uh, if you leave that guy open in the corner, it's pretty much going to be a bucket every time. Eddie Curry, nifty down low. Eddie Curry, homecoming game. Back in Chicago land, Eddie Curry with a bucket to get it started. And that's been the theme today, man. We had so many Chicago uh, ties in this league. Whether we're talking about guys that are from Chicago or just played for the Chicago Bulls, we have a lot of guys that these fans feel like they have an attachment to. Minum behind the back, Josh Smith. Georgia's own Josh Smith. So back into the hands of Nitty. There's Curry. And there's the challenge for anybody on Bivouac. Smith blocks Curry. Curry follows it up. Smith got another piece of it. Smith finally rips it from Curry. Kick out, Bynum three. Foul by Session and one. Old school four point play. He's not going out there to guard those type of guys at all. He is not trying to be embarrassed. He's not trying to be on social media getting crossed up and crossed, and crossed out of the frame. So Eddie stays in the paint, and that's where he feels at home at. That was the first three-point miss from Bivouac after a three-for-three three start, all from three. One from each of the starters. And, and like I said, Josh is going to have that shot all game long. The question is, is he going to be able to hit it? And we, we've seen early on in this game, he's hit two threes. Can't wait to see him next year in that Laker uniform. It's going to be very interesting. I wonder what he's doing out here in Chicago, though. I don't know. We, he's, you not, know. he's not from here, but, you know, I wonder what he's doing in Chicago. They told Jenny just loves ball. Yeah, I mean, Jenny, Jenny got to dig deep, find out what, what, what he's doing in the shot. Wow. How about the three-point shooting from Bivouac to get it started? All of the scoring, five threes. That's a second from Josh Smith. Jackson answers with a two. His game, he gets it off so quick and so effortlessly. Green, easy two. Dante Green, much needed easy two for the killer threes. Cuse his own. Josh Smith backing in and banging. Smith turnaround. 
Smith doing it outside, and now Smith. Green bothered it, Jackson has it. Never hit the rim, didn't have to clear, so there's another easy two for killer three. And Smith thought he got fouled on that one. I actually thought he did as well. Um, and, it, and it really hurts you in, in the style of play that we have here, because when you get fouled inside, they don't call it. Sometimes it can lead to a direct bucket the other way. Speaking of buckets, Will yeah. Bynum. Bynum versus Session. And this is Chicago versus SoCal. Nitty can't answer. Josh Smith looks like he wants this matchup one-on-one. -on -one. Now he's going to give it to Bynum, let Bynum cook a little bit. Ooh. Oh. Oh, and he's cooking with grease. Oh, wow. And that's, the, that's the thing about Bynum. He has, all, he has every move in the book as far as from a handle standpoint. So if you're out there on the island, you're really out there at your own risk because he can and will embarrass you at times. Jackson has an answer and stares down the bivouac bench. Yeah. And Jackson's one of those guys that he just plays in the mid-range, and he loves when people talk to him. He loves when the benches talk to him. He feeds off. Jackson's one of those players, he feeds off of negative energy. And now Bynum crossover on Nitty. It is on between Bynum and Nitty. Yes, and you talk about feeding off of negative energy. Bynum is feeding off of positive energy, and he's creating his own positive energy. Nobody can check him or stay in front of him. Jackson triple. And another stare down for Bivouac from Steven and Jackson. I don't know who is talking to Steven Jackson in the stands, but he is having a good time talking to somebody. Because somebody's talking to him in the stands, and I don't think they realize Steven Jackson feeds off of negative energy. He love, he lives in situations like that. Bynum on Watson. Oh, Bynum wow. brought the hot hand home to Chicago. Listen, new body in there, same result. They bring Watson in there, sit down uh, uh, sessions, but it doesn't matter because Bynum is already on him for triple. On Watson, Will Bynum again. Chicago's own Will Bynum. Bib whack. Second half, Bynum 11. That rattles home for Watson, meaning Killer Threes now have nine points in the second half, but Will Bynum has outscored Killer Threes in the second half. Bynum, that's a pump. And that's, and that's, another, right back. that's another foul on a jump shot. All right, so here's your one of your fun big three wrinkles. One shot, three points. Write it down. Will Bynum has the last 14 points for Bivouac. Killer three is going to need to step it up, man. They're going to need to come start playing with it, uh, a sense of urgency because right now, oh, man. Defense and the offense, but they're going to need a lot right now. Like, hey, if you don't have it, have a shot on your initial move, throw that ball right out the wheel behind him, set up a screen to see what happens. Woo! Nice. Nitty wins quick, this one. Nice quick take by Frank Nitty. Bynum's got a smile on his face. Oh, Nitty's yeah. right there with him on Wait. the inline and beyond. Yeah, he has a smile on his face because he knows he's going to go right back at him. Good screen, go. Smith. There you go. Set Use the, it again. Set the screen. Bynum drops it off. Smith. Oh! All the talking you need. That's why he was smiling. He knew what was about to happen. He knew no matter what, he was going to serve something up for somebody. Nitty. Flips it green. And now Franklin Session versus Will Bynum. Bynum. Session literally locked up. Bynum pass Nitty. Creates. Kick to the corner. Williams. Oh, great find over Bynum. And I love the unselfishness. A guy that's having an incredible night. He obviously could have taken that shot, but he found Williams in the corner. Didn't hit it with his right play. But right back the other way, killer threes. Dante Green hitting the three. And what was once a double-digit lead has now been cut down to six. Bynum on Nitty. Strong to the hole. Do it again, Will Bynum. Frank Nitty's going to need some help out there. He has no answers for Will Bynum. Now does Bynum have an answer for Nitty? Step back, free throw. Looks like he does. <laughs> In short, the answer is yes. Five points away from a win for Bivouac. Bynum has it. Session trying to D him up. Late in the shot clock, two. Bynum pulls the yo-yo, pulls on. the string, Come on, pulls man. it all. Come on, Will Bynum. It is shakedown street time. Come on, Will Bynum Will. is not playing fair out here. This is a clinic being put on by Will Bynum. Three points from the win. No, no, give the ball back to Bynum. There you go. Here's Bynum. Three oh. points from the win. The oh, crowd's standing up. Everybody Bynum. wants to see it. And Bynum. Oh, he got fouled, though.
fouled. Yes, he did. He got fouled. got fouled. It's fouled for two. Well, Chicago showed up to watch its hometown ballers here in the Big Three, and they have not been disappointed. Yeah, Chicago definitely showed up tonight, and the energy in this building has been incredible, and especially for their hometown guys. And you see a guy like Will Bynum, who's from here, that says, hey, I grew up on these streets playing in Chicago. I grew up not backing down from anybody. Jackson bothered by Smith, did he? You see that the Chicago fans love the type of tenacity and the mindset that Will Bynum has. Bynum crossover on Nitty. He's got one more for you. Hello! Bynum. Williams. Wipe it off. No. Wipe, wipe it off. Got a foul. Cold push oh. off. Not done yet. Jackson. He's not stopping. Nitty. Jackson. He's not stopping. He said he wasn't going to stop. Was that a block or was it a charge? It's a block. Got the foul on Bynum. Uh, work against Frank Sessions, who has a who has a lot of speed and quickness himself. Run a screen and roll, force Dante Green or uh, Stephen Jackson to guard him, and then let him attack. And everybody's standing up. All of Chicago standing up. They want to see their own in the game. Will Bynum, one on one, the herky jerky move. Will Bynum, game point. That's the way it should be. It's only fitting. The Chicago kid doing his hometown proud. Sweet home Chicago game winner, Will Bynum. Game him 31. set, match. Bib whack Chicago style. Will Bynum with love from Chicago's own Eddie Curry. Shot down. We said we was changing the game, and we did. No game clock. Always a winning shot. One shot free throws. No tech for trash talk. And the four point circle. The big three is not your ball three. And fireball three is not that boring ass three on three FIBA style that they are about to play in the Olympics. Fireball three is our style. It's the best athletes in the world going at it. Look at Robinson for the win. Oh, yeah. State wins it. The big three is who we are. Fireball three is what we play. The hottest league in the summer just got hot. Allowing players as young as 22 to join the league in 2020. Holding tryouts for any athlete looking for an invitation to the big three combine and changing the game once again with the bring the fire rule. A rule that allows players to challenge a foul by going one-on-one. -on -one. Tatum by Taylor to the basket. Go big or go home. We don't even play with a basketball no more. We play with a fireball. It's the big three, 2020, once again, changing the game.